Hi everyone. Um, today I'm just going to show you a little bit of my training routine. I'm training arms today. And um, nothing fancy, I just want to show you the condition that I'm in. It's uh, six weeks out until the uh, flex show. And um, I'm going to do a little bit of boxing. Um, I'm not a boxer, but I love doing boxing training for cardio because I get sick of that treadmill. So I want to show you a little bit of that. Um, and also I'm going to show you a little bit of um, uh, posing as well. So uh, I hope to see you at the Flex Pro Show. In the meantime, I'll be doing a video each week and uploading it on uh, Flex Online. And I'll, uh, I'll see you uh, next week when I'm... Okay, well, um, the first exercise that I'm doing here is a one arm machine preacher curl. Um, what I'm doing today, um, I start off with a medium weight. I do 10 repetitions on one arm and then I go straight to the other arm and do another 10 repetitions. And then um, I go back to the first arm and do it again. I don't have any rest. And I do that three times. Um, the first set that I do is really easy. Um, I start feeling the blood um, going into the bicep. Uh, second set, it's a bit of a challenge and then by the third set I can really feel the, the burn and the pump and that's the obviously the most challenging set. Um, I call these uh, triple sets. Um, it's a really safe way to train. Um, you don't have to go that heavy uh, but you still um, put the stress on the muscle um, and I really like doing the machine preacher curl because it takes all the weight and puts it directly onto the bicep where I want to feel it and it takes the weight off my forearm and, and shoulders uh, off the front delt um, so since I've been focusing on doing the machine preacher my arms of my biceps have definitely made a huge improvement um, so that's my secret now to building my biceps. Um, yeah, so I, I do about three or four sets on this and then um, I'll go to the next exercise. When I do the second set of, uh, of this triple set, I can just see my biceps just blowing up. They blow up like balloons. And um, if there was one exercise I could recommend to people to do um, to build your biceps it would be the machine preacher curl because it just focuses so much on the part that you want to train you know the bicep and like I said it's really safe and um, yeah you know all the energy is going onto the bicep Un unlike the, the barbell curl we do heavy barbell curls I just feel it so much in my forearms and in front of my delts and um, I grew up on a vineyard and um, we used to harvest grapes and I used to you know, look after the farm and there was a lot of pruning involved and that really built my forearms up. And so when I was a kid I was walking around with these huge hands and huge forearms so I, I definitely want, don't want them to grow anymore so for someone like me I, I avoid the, you know, the heavy barbell type exercises and you know, focus on uh, trying to develop the, the bulk and the peak of my biceps. Um, I do throw in some hammer curls every now and then um, just because it works a different sort of area of the, of the bicep but I feel it a lot on my forearms too so I, I rarely do that but today I'm going to do a few exercises that I don't usually do just to like I said uh, show my condition I just want to show you how I'm looking um, each each week, I just want to show you my progress leading up to the Flex Pro Show. Yeah, so here I'm doing an uh, unusual exercise where I sit on the bench and do um, barbell curls. And uh, I don't usually do this one, but I really like doing it when I'm... Uh, you know, leading up to a competition because it really shows the vascularity in my arms. It gives me a good pump. 
just doing another set here and um, as you can see my arms are getting more pumped with each set and each rep that I'm doing. I try to keep my elbows forward with this and not use a very heavy weight that way I really feel it in my biceps and um, it's almost like a preacher curl or a, you know concentration curl with, with a bar so I use a, a moderate weight with this one. I never start off with these um, these curls, I always uh, do them towards the end of the workout while my arms are already pumped. Um, I feel a lot more when my biceps are already you know, pre-exhausted and um, yeah, it just brings out all the vascularity and really pumps the blood into the muscle even more. Yeah, I, I like to get like a close grip and um, I find that really uh, hits my biceps more and get a close grip and I open my legs up so I can get a full stretch uh, almost to the bottom and a full contraction there yeah now I'm just moving over to dips I just want to you know pump pump my triceps up a little bit just um, to show you how I look when I'm pumped um, this is not like a real proper arm workout that I usually do it's a workout that I sort of threw in um, in the evening or the afternoon um, just to get a nice pump and show you how I look, show my muscles in action a little bit. Um, I usually train at 10 a.m. Um, we film this at about 4 or 4.30. And uh, here with the tricep dips, I'm not using any weight. Um, if I do do um, chip, uh, dips for chest or or for triceps, I use a lot of weight. I'm very strong in this um, movement. I usually do. I've, I've gone up to six plates um, strapped around my, my waist for wide grip dips, a little bit less for the triceps. Uh, the gym I'm training at here is um, At One Fitness. It's a little personal training gym in North Hollywood, and the owner is a, a champ, well, he was a champion Thai kickboxer, and he opened this gym with his wife. Yeah, I always drink a lot of water when I train. Um, I probably drink about two litres of water, or even more, maybe three litres when I work out. So now I move back over to the preacher curl, but this time I'm doing uh, I'm doing both both arms, and I'm not doing a triple set. They're nice and pumped now. Yeah, I just do a, a few sets here, and I use you know a moderate weight. I don't have to go that heavy now because. They're pretty fatigued and filled with blood. And like I said, this is just like, they're not a real hardcore workout or anything. It's just to pump my muscles up to show you how I look. Six weeks out from the show. Really not like getting that nice squeeze at the top of the, of the, um, the curl. Sometimes I don't go all the way down. I do like just a partial, but I'll come all the way to the top. And now I'm just moving over to do some, um, just some hammer curls with the, the dumbbell. Um, I feel it in my biceps, but I also feel it in the top of my forearm as well. Um, I, get, I do 100 pounds, up to 100 pounds when I'm going heavy and doing a real workout. Uh, today I'm just using 40 pounds, getting a nice pump there. Just feeling the squeeze and, and the burn. Actually, uh, I'm very strong just before my um, my competition. Usually people lose their strength, but for some reason, I'm more strong uh, pre-contest than what I am in the off-season when I'm all bulked up and, and, and bloated. Um, but lately, I've, I haven't been um, blowing out in the off-season. I've been trying to keep pretty lean, and um, that way I keep my blood pressure down and I feel a lot healthier and I have a lot more energy. <clears throat> just another set here of hammer curls, this time I'm holding the squeeze at the top of the movement a little bit longer, no swinging at all, when I do the 100 pounds I swing a little bit, but when I'm using a light weight like this I don't need to swing at all, 
Just feel that nice contraction at the top of the movement. But I just I just feel um, the preacher curls so much more than than these things. Um, that's all I usually do in the off season. I just do various types of preacher curls to build my biceps, and my biceps have really come up a lot. Um, I've got to get my triceps to catch up to them, actually. And I'm just doing my last set here. I'm doing hammer curls again, but I'm this time I'm um, curling the weight up to the middle of my chest. I feel it in a slightly different area than the regular hammer curls. Um, but if anyone out there is trying to build their forearms, I definitely recommend to include these type of exercises, all these hammer curl and reverse curls to build the forearms. But um, I, I definitely don't do these in the off season. That's about it, folks. A bit of a pose here for you. See you next week.